tear out of this subfloor is going to require a crowbar, a good broom and dustpan, it's particle board that's been not only nailed down with ring shank nails but also glued down. The uh, <clears throat> very important thing to remember is to never pry in between the joists. Joists are typically 16 inches on center. It just so happens in this house the <clears throat> Framing is two feet on center, 24 inches on center. It's a truss system instead of a joist system. I always want to be prying where there's a truss and uh, never in the middle. And that's to protect the uh, plywood from breaking um, that's underneath this, this uh, underlayment. The nails indicate where the truss is, so that's where I will continue to pry. Now here I'm tempted to pry. Um, but I'm in between the trusses, so I stop. I put something underneath the crowbar as a fulcrum. And that way I've kept the pressure over the truss without capsizing the plywood underneath. I'm going to do that again. picture. I mentioned that the nails are ring shank nails. Rather than taking the time to remove those, I'll simply pound those down. And in the process I'm renailing the subfloor as well.